Hello, hello, Blart here, with Forcefully with Dignity, the Iroha Intersecting Wills Shinryu fight. We're bringing a team of Charlotta, Ramza, and x -Den. Before we get too deep into it, hit that like button. Costs you nothing, helps me out quite a bit. And if you enjoy the content, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Helps out in terms of raising the channel's profile, and it helps me on my personal goal to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so any help you could toss my way would be much appreciated. We were uh, running an extremely budget-friendly team featuring three Blue Armor Green BT units uh, with Ultima weapons and a Force weapon. Uh, it's, you know, they can't all be budget runs. It's okay. Charlotta here is, uh, is here because, I mean, I've been running her a lot. She's really good. She just kind of is really, really, really good. A lot of damage, a lot of support, a lot of, I don't know, cats, whatever. Um, Roms is here because, well, Roms is also really good, but specifically... I want that HP cap up for these two units who really, really like having HP cap up. <laughs> I mean, shocker, every unit in the game likes having HP cap up. Um, but I think these two especially, because of how their kits work, uh, appreciate it. Uh, he also has that nice HP plus attack, which will synergize well with Charlotta's force times. That's nice. X-Death is here, because I like X-Death. Uh, shocker, I know. I had hoped to use his debuffs to mitigate Cloud of Darkness's counter during the Force time, but in practice, that needing two turns to set up the debuffs, it, it just doesn't work, because it cleanses, and then you need the two turns, and you incur the counter by applying the debuff. You, you can see, it just it's, it's a mess. So instead, we're just going to try to kill Cloud of Darkness as fast as possible, and that's um, that's all there really is to it. Finally remembering to use Charlotta's BT effect before we get into the meat of the, the fight. Broom. We're actually going to be stacking all three of our BT effects here, and uh, going into a meaty, meaty force time. Once everything is in place, of course, you know. So on that note, um, we're going to drop Seymour real quick, just get that HP damage boost for as their health gets lower. And now, XF. Oh, oh, oh. Womp. <laughs> Such a cool animation. I love, I love this BT, even if it's... You know... Here's the thing. With x I mean, the whole his poison not scaling thing is really not good. Uh, and I don't expect I'll change it the more I think about it, but it just it really cripples the character. Um, that said, he still has some positive qualities, and I'm trying to highlight those as best I can. Uh, the raised HP cap on the BT, with, with you know, being six turns and everything, is not bad. That's actually you know, competitive. And while the poison itself doesn't really help us that much, it, you know, it's kind of a piddly amount of, da amount of damage along the course of the fight, um, the battery is actually pretty sweet, happening every every turn. It actually helps us refill Charlotta's Crystal Ray, or whatever the staff overhead is called, uh, pretty quickly, which is nice. We're actually using the summon here because we need to do our second Crystal Ray and refill that before she goes into Force Time. Um, beyond that, you know, his on-turn damage is pretty decent given how high his HP cap is. The lack of dumps, I think, does hurt him. He only has, you know, three on most of his st stuff except for LD, which is four. I think, this is going to sound silly, adding one extra HP dump to each of his attacks, I think, would have really pulled the character together because then, you know, okay, yeah, the, the poison doesn't really do much outside of being kind of this true chip damage in certain scenarios, but at least he's doing good, consistent on-turn damage. His on-turn damage is consistent right now, but it, <clears throat> you really need to jack it up there for it to be, like, you know, good. And I think for a damage dealer expecting, you know, four split a split HP attacks on his skill two, you know, four on his EX, or even five on his EX, one of the saucy, and then five on his LD, I think would have been not game breaking <laughs> while still making him a lot better. But yeah, I mean, it it's a silly complaint in most cases, because yeah, every character is better with more HP attacks. What I'm saying is I think it would have le left him at a balance, a much healthier balance point. But hey, eh, returning BT, what are you going to do? We actually used an HP attack with x there to jack up the HP damage bonus, and on that note, we're going to use a skill 1 on Charlotta here as well. Um, that's a little tip that I picked up from YouTube commenter Appelling. I know you're out there, Appelling. Shoutouts to you. Um, Appelling? I don't know. Pronunciation is hard. Um, but that's just giving us some added uh, force charge before going to Charlotta's BT phase, since the main bulk of her damage is going to be coming from those launch chuck staffs. So we make those stronger at the expense of a, you know, a weaker burst finisher. I think it's a good trade. It's a good trade here. I mean, it works. We, we, spoilers, we win the fight. Another weird little quirk of X death is uh, because of his you know, unique blue armor split, he actually is one of the best partners you can have in a launch because 
he, he just does more damage per launch than any other partner unit. But I mean, you know, Kais and Selfie and units that batter themselves in the air are a different story. But even then, their ceilings aren't going to be as high as his, which is, uh, that's nice. We'll take that. It's kind of cool. It is pure copium, mind you. But, you know, sometimes you just need to inject the copium straight into your veins and uh, just infuse yourself with it. Give yourself over to the copium of the void. Um, but you can see here, we are focusing Cloud of Darkness really hard, because as I mentioned, um, the counterattack that it does in Force Time would just straight up kill us after it cleanses. I tried, you know, a little mitigation here and there, and just, it, it, I figured, you know what, why bother with mitigating it when we can just straight up kill it? So, having ch chewed through most of its HP through that burst phase, we're going to go ahead and spam LDs and various things, try to just kill it before that last 25% of its Force Time charges up. Because as you know, once it gets to that, you know, force, once it gets into force time, it starts healing, and it's basically un pra practically functionally unkillable. I will say, fun fact: XF HP poison actually doesn't uh, call it, like get that get healed off during their force time, but it's a small enough amount that unless they were at like one percent HP when they went into the force time, I wouldn't want to rely on it to get us into killing range. You know, we're gonna go ahead and use our last crystal ray on the eyeball here instead of cloud of darkness in order to get it out of here. Um, fun fact, uh, I didn't realize this, Broska, I think, I forget if I mentioned this in my last video, Broska actually, uh, can turn off their force time, because he burst heals in his force, I think a lot of people are overlooking that, kind of cool, um, Broska Hevers, I guess, eating, so you can see here, Xeth doing some chip damage, um, that said, we don't really want to spam turns here, we'd rather just kill it, because we have BT effects that we're running down the clock on, so, we'll just be trying to Heal as much damage as possible, even though it really it really is nothing because they're healing 80% of it. Refreshing the, uh, the HP attack, uh, the, the overheads and stuff, you know, just kind of keeping maintenance until it's turn's done. Happily, it only has three turns of force time if you kill Cloud of Darkness. Uh, five turns of waiting for this doofus to take three, you know, that many turns would have really sucked. Had I been more patient, I would have realized that uh, this entire team can get away with passing turns without breaking, and I could have let the uh, eyeball take a few more turns without it being, you know, or with, uh, more quickly, you know? Unfortunately, I didn't realize that, and so you'll see here, you know, we're just taking damage and healing it off, it doesn't really matter. But uh, with Galvanize, we're using, you know, Ramza can use Galvanize to pass the turns, and Shalotta can use her Brave Attack, Tranquil Light, to pass the turn, and X-Death doesn't break on anything. Unfortunately, I'm a greedy fellow, and so on Ramza's turn, I realized in order to, you know, if I press... I should just press Galvanize twice here, but I saw the shiny EX button and I was like, I gotta press it, and so Shalada has another turn of them being in force time, and so we're gonna just chuck one of our staves, because we're not gonna use the rest of them, um, and just get that out of the way. There we go. Uh, huge damage loss there. I really wish I had just Galvanized twice with Ramza. It wasn't that hard. Yeah. The, so the ending of this was a little bit uh, awkward, a little maybe uh, anticlimactic. Seymour doing decent damage with the LD call. Thanks, Charlotta. But you know what? It got us the W. You assume. I mean, you know, 6%, I have, like, what, 60 turns or something to kill it in that time? I think I can do that. Ramza with the... Jesus, uh, that's AP. So much damage. Anyway, um... Yeah, that... That's the fight. We're, we're there. Um, we're gonna actually finish them off with a stupid chain of actions. We're gonna go ahead and hit them with that, uh, that Reigns call. So I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> press the second crystal dice, because why the heck not? Let's finish them with style. Kachi is here to roll the dice. It's a cool animation, I have to say. <laughs> I still can't do that laugh. Uh, and, well, we failed to finish them. X-Death, take us home. Womp. There we have it. Cool. All right, X-Death W in the books. And two other characters, I guess, too. Uh, they didn't help at all. Jesus, fuck. Uh, saga runners, am I right? Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Adiós.